Are you impatient like me? Impatient? impatient. I don't like uh, traffic. I don't like getting off an airplane. I don't like anybody in a store who thinks that a check is an acceptable way to pay for a bill, particularly if they cannot find a pen. Um, have you ever said this? Hurry up, hurry up. You ever said that? I've said it to a microwave. Uh, I am not an incredibly patient person. In fact, I'm, I'm an impatient person. And I know patience is a virtue and one of the fruit of the spirit is patience and it's all very convicting. I'm just, I'll be honest with you, I'm not very patient. Um, and I, I get really impatient when there's an opportunity or a goal set before me. Any of you like that? Uh, there's something on your horizon. It's an opportunity that's set before you next season of life. Maybe something you're excited about, something you've been waiting for. So, well, then you just want to get to work, right? You like that? You a doer? Like, all right, just tell me what to do. Get out of the way because I'm proceeding forward. Going to get this done. That's me. What I don't like is a four-letter word called wait. Okay? Wait is a... Oh. And, 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 and... And it's a word that Jesus uses, which means I'm wrong. So um, what we see in the book of Acts, and we're in Acts 1, 12 through 26, what we see in the book of Acts is that, that people had been waiting for Jesus all the way back. So here we go. If you're new, we'll do the whole Bible in a minute. So uh, God made us. We sinned against him. Uh, death came into human history. A promise was made that Jesus was coming. Genesis 3, 15. How long did they have to wait for Jesus to come? couple thousand years. That's a long wait, right? Long wait. Way, way, way worse than like 2G or dial-up. This is a serious wait. And then Jesus comes. He lives without sin. He dies for sin. He rises from death. We looked at it in the opening pages of Acts that he appeared for 40 days, evidencing his resurrection. And he told them, here it is. You're going to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, ends of the earth. I got a global mission, something huge for you to do. You've been waiting thousands of years. Now go tell everyone that I've come. But, what's he say? Wait. What? Wait. Waiting is hard, right? How many of you were students? School's almost out. Waiting is hard. You're single. You might have met somebody. You're not sure yet. Waiting is hard. You're engaged to be married, but you're not married. You got to wait. You want to have a kid. You're trying to have a kid. Maybe you're pregnant. Maybe the kid isn't here yet. Maybe the kid showed up, but the kid won't sleep. Wait. It's very hard to wait. It's very hard to wait. Jesus gives them the whole purpose of their existence. You're going to glorify me by being a witness to the world, but first wait. And I'll send you the Holy Spirit, and he will empower you with my presence to be on my mission to my glory. So they've got to wait. They've got to wait, and that's the early church. What do you do when you're waiting? How many of you, uh, you do as I have done. You just plow forward. I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to go. And you make a mess of it. You do it wrong. You have to go back and fix it. How many of you, you get distracted, you do something else, you waste time, you get frustrated, you get bitter, you complain? What are they going to do? Set before them is the biggest mission in the history of the world, the one that God's people have been waiting for for a few thousand years, Jesus risen from death, go tell the world. They got to wait. What are they going to do while they wait? 